all Muslims who watched my video titled The Satanic Verses accused me of lying, although the references of the event are valid. Sahih Hadith from Jalal al-Din al sayyudi in his book, Al-Dur al-Manthar. The story goes as follows. In the process of delivering Surah and Najm, verses 19 to 21 in Mecca, the Prophet Muhammad was possessed by Satan, so that he praised the goddesses of Quraysh, Al-Lat, al azza al manat After that, he prostrated together with the polytheists Quraysh, Muslims, and Jinns. The Muslims argue, How could Prophet Muhammad be possessed by Satan? That's a lie, a blasphemy. To see if the Prophet could indeed be possessed by Satan, then we must see the history of his life. Has he ever experienced it in his lifetime? It turns out, yes, even more than once. Let's see the first example. First case. Prophet Muhammad was demon-possessed. The event started after Waraka bin Nafal died. Waraka was Khadija's cousin and Prophet Muhammad's spiritual advisor. After Waraka died, the Prophet did not receive any divine inspiration for a while. Why doesn't the spirit show up anymore? Is there something wrong with me? Did he ignore me now? The Prophet became so sad, to the point that he wanted to commit suicide. Let me climb to the top of the mountain. That's a good place to jump and just be done with my life. So he went up to the top of a mountain in order to throw himself down. But then he saw Jibril appeared in front of him. O oh Muhammad, you are indeed Allah's apostle in truth. Oh, really? What a relief. In that case, I won't commit suicide. His heart would become quiet and he would calm down and would return home. But then the divine inspiration still not coming, and he would be anxious again. This was not mere anxiety because he became really depressed, and the thought of ending his life re-emerged. Why nothing came down from Allah? What's wrong? Oh, I am so sad to the point that I want to commit suicide again. This time I will really throw myself. Let me just die. So he climbed to the top of the mountain again, with the same intention like before. But then Jibril would show up again in front of him, and said the same thing just like before. Oh Muhammad. You are indeed Allah's apostle in truth. Oh, really? What a relief. In that case, I won't commit suicide. So he would climb down and return home. But then, on the following day, he started to have the same suicidal feeling. The divine revelation halted for several months. Apparently, Muhammad didn't believe what Jibril told him, that's why he kept trying to commit suicide. <laughs>